What are you doing? We can't let Chief Basrock deal with the Winterborn by himself. I didn't come all this way to die, Elf. That isn't what I signed up for. Damn it! Where are all these Winterborn marauders coming from? Anyone see where the Chief and his warriors went? Anyone? All I see is death and Ice Heart's damn Winterborn. Did Orsinium send you? Are you part of the reinforcements? The Winterborn came out of nowhere. It happened so fast. They took our... Our caravan was heading for Orsinium, the new Orc city, when the Winterborn landed on the wagons like flesh flies on Skiba Pie. The Orc peasants refused to let their supplies be taken, so they chased the marauders into the hills. In case you haven't noticed, these cracked acorns aren't worth their weight in bloodberry pudding. Besides, before we could rally our forces, Chief Basrog and his Orc warriors arrived. He told us to wait here and then went after the Marauders. I knew I liked you the moment I saw you. Chief Basrog is big and mean and looks like he can fight. I will, eventually. This caravan brought me. I thought we already covered that. Oh, you mean specifically? The invitation. You got one too, didn't you? It... And don't move! Chief Bosrog will be back for the rest of us as soon as he we can! We found them! Leave no orc alive! Somebody help us! Please! There's more of them! Watch out! Still some of us hiding in the cave near the waterfall. You have to help them too. Poor bastards never had a chance. I saw what you did out there. Thanks for helping the clan orcs. The ones in here? I think it's too late to help them. Yes, I'm with Basrog. We were out on patrol when we saw the Winterborn attack the caravan. By the You're Fawn Iceheart. He's the most powerful of the Winterborn warlords that have been raiding Rothgar the past few years. Since he arrived from the Reach, the attacks have gotten worse. I like your courage, but I don't think you'll get to test it today. 
If Iceheart was still around, we'd be frozen solid by now. Enough food and supplies to get the outlying clans through the winter. Without those supplies, the clans are going to starve. Search the area and see if you can find anything that even hints as to where the Marauders disappeared to. Leave no stone unturned. Anything you uncover could prove it. Where did you take our supplies? Till you tell me what I want to know. This is the last of the supplies. Let's get these crates out of here. Land peasants. Are they on their way to Orsinium? The soldiers escorted them and the wounded outsiders. They should be safe enough. Safe enough isn't good enough. Go after them. I'll continue to look for the Winterborn and the missing. You're the outsider who leaped into the bear's den to fight the Winterborn? Well, Shan, the wood elf, mentioned you. Surprised you didn't end up all bruised and bloody like the rest of these fools. And I appreciate that. Doesn't change the fact that I despise that you're here, though. Sticking your nose in our business. Ah, yes. The King's Invitation. And what a royal bag of snakes that is. Look. You have my thanks for saving those people. Let me see that. We've been betrayed. And for gold, no less. By Malakath, I'll make sure someone pays for this. Look, I need to protect the next caravan to come through the Merchant's Gate. This note indicates that the traitor has interests in the city. I want you to track down this traitor and find our stolen shipments. The fastest way to get on my good side, and on Kurog's, is to expose the traitor and recover our supplies. I suggest you start your search in the inn. Gold and dark dealings often go hand in hand with drinking and celebrating.
happened at the temple. I'm inclined to agree. You two are worried about nothing. About time. Or maybe he finally sold some of those trinkets he loves so much. I ain't complaining and I ain't asking questions. I'm just glad I found It's a good day, friend. I've got it. I don't see how that's any of your business. And if you're thinking of trying to rob me, well, think again. I need this gold for my daughter. Now leave me be or I'll, I'll hit you with my mug. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Being all mysterious and scaring a person half to death? So, why are you looking for Gulag? My Trinimax deformed toe, if this gold is illegal... My Shilha needs her potions. All right, let's try this. Right, right, you never heard this from me, but Gulag left here a little while ago to talk to those Khajiit traders. You know, the ones who showed up recently? He wears some kind of fancy fragrance, says it keeps the spirits docile. The Khajiit sold it to him. Almost enough to make this one want to stop dealing with him. Arusha would agree, except for all the gold he gave us. He's got the luck of Joan and Jode, even if he smells like a dead horker. This one hopes we are blessed with half his luck and twice his gold, but not his scent. We are merchants, yes, from a faraway land. We bring strange and exotic goods to the people of Orsinia. We are new to this city. Where the one we do business with goes, we do not know. But when he left us, he headed east, toward the residential district. Uh, curious, are you? Our business is quite legal, rest assured. Not all Khajiit practice illicit trades, no matter what you may have heard. Uh, that is a word, yes. The best for the best price. You won't find a lower price in the city, once we're actually open. for as long as we want. I paid in advance. You didn't have two gold pieces to rub together last time I saw you, Gulag. What changed? Fortune happened, my love. Now, come here. And who might you be? Go find another bathhouse. I hired this one for the entire day. I'll let you deal with this, Gulag. What's this about? If you aren't here to use the baths, it must be about my tonics. Well, I can assure you, my tonics are guaranteed to cure whatever ails you. What? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm a loyal subject of the king. No, I, I can explain. The people of this city, I made a deal for them. 
gold from the Winterborn allows me to produce my tonics at a fraction of the cost. I'm doing this for the people. The outlying clans. They're enemies of this city and our king. Their chiefs refuse to accept the king's rule. They'd rather stay stuck in their old ways and traditions. A small price to pay for a larger gain. I've been loyal to this city since before you outsiders started arriving. You have no... Fine. What's the use? See what happens when you just try to help? The supplies were sent to Frostbreak Fortress. That's where the Winterborn warlord, Jorfan Iceheart, plans to regroup his forces. I'm sure he's guarding the supplies personally. Do what you will. My tonics are out in the city now, getting to the people who need them. Sure, I won't be able to enjoy the rest of my gold, but I accomplished what I set out to do. Once again, welcome to Orsinian. I look forward to working with you on this grand endeavor. Ah, another traveler arrives in our grand city. Welcome, welcome. I am a high priestess of Trinimac, serving in Orsinian's temple. Like you, I'm here at the request of Forge Mother Alga to help revive the ancient traditions of truth, honor, and unity. We've received similar reports. Just one of a series of unfortunate incidents that we plan to rectify. Awesomer soldiers and even the king himself are looking into this. King, truly. Perhaps we can still recover the supplies the clans need to survive the winter. The decision to invite outsiders to our land has already reaped untold benefits. You located the stolen supplies and uncovered our betrayer. Trinimac surely sent you to us in our time of need. Take this reward for helping our people. And you is this one of the outsiders who responded to my invitation, High Priestess? Yes, Grand Forge Mother. So our ambassador finally found you. Took a damn time. But you're here now, and that's what counts. Welcome to Orsinium. The damn Reachmen and their foul magic. It provides the Winterborn with an unlimited number of soldiers to send against us. Even so, our soldiers have dispatched all but one of their warlords. That bastard, Yorfon Iceheart. Trinimac smiles upon us then. My son, King Kurog, has already traveled to Frostbreak Fortress to deal with Warlord Iceheart directly. There are two things my son can't resist. Food and battle. When he learned of Iceheart's location, he rushed to deal with the warlord personally. The Winterborn pose a threat to all of Hrothgar. Jorvan Iceheart in particular has long been a thorn in our side. Of course, but many of our best warriors are off helping the Alliance. Besides, the other clan chiefs are too busy seeking their own glory. My son needs someone at his side who has nothing to prove. So you can find my son at the camp outside Frostbreak Fortress. It's this is Orsinium. Don't you know our traditions? Kurog is king, the chief of our clan, and every clan far and wide. When it comes to war, he's in command. Everything else is better left to the capable skills of his mother and wives. Oh yes, and many times over, just like any other clan chief. Noroga the huntwife, Truga the forgewife, Barisal the hearthwife, caravan out to oblivion with this place
Why do all the best opportunity? Ah, greetings, traveler. Hold a moment, won't you? Ah, an inquisitive sort. I like it. Profit, of course. Durzogs make the perfect guard animals. I'm heading to Bolgol Farm to walk. Those catapults fly. I'm amazed the towers can withstand the punishment. The Bretons must have used orc crafters, and they built that place to last. But never fear. The winter Chirag summoned the chiefs of Rothgar to besiege the Winterborn. One of our biggest problems are those Briarheart monstrosities. For every one we kill, two more take its place. We need to get inside the fort. Find out where they're spawning those abominations. But the damn harpies. We can't walk five steps without becoming bird food. This is the Winterborn's final stand. We destroy the Briarhearts while Chirag deals with their warlord, Iceheart. If we succeed, Chirag will have ended a threat that has plagued us for far too long. Maybe then I'll consider accepting him as our king. I've got a lot to do. If you don't find the alchemist and destroy those nests, we'll never break this siege. You heard him for the king! Get down! <laughs> no! No! Let me go! Damn it! I lose more soldiers that way. By Trinimac's angry nose, where do you people keep coming from? Did you see those harpies haul my soldiers away? This is a siege, not a tent show. Peep. If you want to become bird food, I'm not going to stop you. And after losing more soldiers to the harpies, I'm ready to accept any help I can get. But sent her in with a squad of orcs to deal with the harpy nests on the towers. Figured if the nests were on fire, the distraction would allow another squad to get in and put an end to the briar hearts. But both groups have disappeared without a trace. A volunteer. I appreciate that kind of go-get-em attitude. If you do manage to find either of the missing squads, remind them that they have their orders. I expect them to complete their missions. The 